Because of its long, thin body, strange-looking face, and mysterious behavior, the oarfish has been a subject of legends and superstitions. In this video, you will see interesting facts about oarfish. Let's get started. An oarfish is the longest bony fish in the ocean. They can be up to 56 feet in length and can weigh about 600 pounds. Their body is not like other fish. They look like a giant snake or dragon. Unlike other fish, they lack scales. They have tubercules and a coat of guanine which is topped with an ulnate, red dorsal fin. The giant oarfish was first described in 1772. They are generally found in deep waters and rarely seen on the surface of water. Scientists believe that they are pushed there by storms or strong currents. It is not well known, but giant oarfish are thought to frequent depths around 3,300 feet. They cannot live in the region with effective sea waves. There have been cases when they have been washed up onto the shore in a state of injury or death. The silvery fish are sometimes called the king of herrings because of their superficial resemblance to the smaller fish, but they are named oarfish because of their long pectoral fins, which resemble oars. An oarfish swims holding itself straight up and down in the water column. It is believed that it uses this method to search for food. Unlike other fish, they do not possess the swim bladder. Instead, they row themselves through the water with their pelvic fins. These fishes are not known to be of any commercial value and their meat is reported to be inedible. It is like a sticky jelly when it touched. However, its flesh is rare in the market, but the fishermen get it sometimes. If the oarfish is lying dead or injured on the shore in Japan and many other islands in the Pacific Ocean, it is considered the sign of the natural disaster. Just before the 2011 tsunami in Japan, around 20 oarfish were found on the shore. Giant oarfish eat tiny plankton and aren't dangerous. Although oarfish were likely the source of many historic tales of sea serpents and sea monsters, they are hardly dangerous to people. Oarfish feed on tiny plankton and have a small opening to their digestive system. They don't even have real teeth, instead having flimsier structures called gill rakers to catch tiny organisms. Their natural predators could not specifically be spotted, however, specimens, wounded by sharks and lancetfish, have been seen lying dead on the ocean shores. The concentration of its internal organs toward the head end of its body is thought to help it enable to survive even if it loses a considerable portion of its elongated tail. The exact longevity of the giant oarfish could not yet be studied. The fish is known to spawn between July and December. The larvae of this species have been seen close to the surface of the water and had been identified to be of the giant oarfish. As the baby giant oarfish hatch out, the embryos develop into larvae quite quickly. Juvenile specimens have been seen having distinctive long rays on the dorsal and the pelvic fins. As these fish grow up to an adult, they begin to live a secluded life. The difficulty of studying it in its preferred natural habitat has prevented scientists from assessing its conservation status or the likelihood that it may become threatened with extinction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.